Question 10. I have got a trapezium. As a trapezium, again, you've got two, two parallel sides and a perpendicular height. And then you've got a slant. That's a trapezium. We need to calculate the length AC. So the length from there to there. So that will be the AC we need to calculate. So why don't we just draw that straight line to meet that point where we need to calculate. So that's length AC. We need to calculate. It's a right angle triangle. You can see, I know, I need to calculate that length AC. But I don't know this side. I need to know that and that to be able to calculate that because it's a right angle triangle. So you always need two values to be able to calculate the third one. So to find this, I may have to do something special. I may have to calculate the, um, I want to find that length. I know if I draw a line across here, you see, right, I know I can find this length, yes, let's call this length A, and let's call that B, B, and let's call that C. C is the longest side of this, this is right angle triangle. I know what that value would be because I know this is 3, and the whole thing is 8, so that has to be 5. So that's 5, because the whole thing is 8, and this bit here is 3, that means that bit is 3, so that's 3, that's 3, and that means that has to be 5. So, I can find A. Applying my Pythagoras theorem here, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C is the longest side, I know that. I'm looking for A, so I need to leave that there and move that to the other side. So that will be C squared minus B squared equals A squared. Let's write that properly. So that will be A squared equals C squared minus B squared. I'm looking for A, not A squared. So I could say, well, because I'm going to use that anyway. So what well, I could say A is root plus or minus. It's always plus or minus. C squared minus B squared. But it's going to be a positive value, so I don't need a minus. So A will be root C squared minus B squared. So if I put that in there, uh, the value for A, so that would be A equals root C is 13, so that's 13 squared minus B is 5, so that's 5 squared. So that means A is equal to root 169 minus 25, which is root 144, which is 12. So which meant that A is 12. So A equals 12 centimeters. If A is 12, now I can find this one here, the AC, because I know that this is now 12 centimeters. Okay, so I'm using the same thing now to find C. So to find this C here, the green one, now, I know that's 12, and I know this is 8, so I can say C squared equals, well, I could go straight into the formula by saying C equals root A squared plus B squared. So I know what I'm doing now. So that would be root. Now, uh, this is 8 squared and 12 squared, so that's 64 plus 144, right? 64 plus 144 is root 208, right? So root 208, and we want that in 
three significant figures. So what I need to do is bring my calculator in there. Or you can just punch it in if you're not sure. So I went a bit far here. So A, just to be precise, so that's root A is 12 squared, so that's 12 squared plus 8 squared. That's how I get my 12 is 144, 12 squared is 144, 8 squared is 64. And so we can do that here, which is root 12 squared plus 8 squared. That gives us 3, 4, root 13. That's the exact value. 4, root 13. This is called exact value. We don't want the exact value. We want in three significant figures. So we have to press standard to decimal. And that will give us the three significant figures. 1, 2, 3. Next one is 2, less than 5. So I have to put 14. 14.4 excuse me centimeters so c equals 14.4 centimeter three significant figures so that's what that is